What happened to the corpse closet? You mean... What? They moved all the corpses. Why did they move all the corpses? That's really weird. That was never set to have humans in it. So they just went and moved all the disgusting, rotting corpses. Why is it not ducks? Why Why would it be? Why, why, why would it be ducks and not ducats? Ducats make sense. Ducks does not make any sense. So apparently, something happened with one of the zones. This one was set to take... Take... Corpses. Priority normal. Priority crit. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. They were both set to have corpses, and they moved them all out of this one. Huh. The guard of fairies. Thanks for the follow. Alright, that's a good freezer right now. 100 simple meals, 78 fine meals, 24 nutri pastes. Work frenzy. Guy even the loner has been inspired. He will work two and a half times faster for the next 24 hours. Yeah, you're really good at cleaning now. Yeah, go make some... That's two and a half times faster. You can slate faster than that. Bastard. So this is going to get me some... This is finally, finally, finally gonna get me some gun turrets. And then I gotta find out where, I gotta figure out where the hell I wanna put them. Um, ideally, what I wanna do is force the enemy to walk through the water to get to me. So like, I want the, I kinda want this out of the way. So let's tell him to start mining this thing off. Tell him to take the sides of that off. At least, at least whittle it down. The surgeon getting out a scalpel and just banging it against stone. That'll help. That'll help the situation. Oh, that's not a big deal. I really don't like the new sound effect for anything bad happening, even if it's tiny, is the sound of the, the old sound effect from the raid. It's really throwing me off. What would a heat wave be in the colony? 60? Well, I think the heat waves would still... I don't think it matters what the base temperature is. I think the heat waves go up to about 150 outside. Which is enough to kill you. Alright, so we got it blocked off. We, so... We need, like... Okay. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I'm trying to think of the best way to handle this. This side, I'm not too worried about. It, this side is easy to defend. Like, I, I could put some... I could put some, like, a line right here with some turrets on it, and everybody would have to run through the water to get me. I'm going to take that off, though, because that's cover. Gaivon is no longer inspired. Thad. Thad. IEDs would be nice. Yes, IEDs are very useful. Make the cooler vent into a death chamber. Death chamber isn't really something I normally do. Chris the Salt Vassal. Awesome name, by the way. Trenches, I don't think are a thing in this game. Not base game, at least. Should probably actually have them... If nobody's mining, I should I should have them take out this big steel chunk and work on these ones too. And again, they don't want to move the corpses now, bastards. Lazy. That's what you guys are, lazy. Uh, you know what I haven't checked is build up. Initial, none, initial, initial, no. We're fine. Most everything happens within this like contained area. So, it's not that big of a, de uh, a deal. And I don't have anything to burn the dead with right now. I don't have access to the uh, incinerators. Take 
that off. So... Hmm. I could use this little protuberance here. I don't really love that idea. Do you have glow rocks? Sorry, no. No glow rocks in this game. Well, no, there's uranium. There's uranium, but I don't have any. I don't have any. Sorry. No glow rocks. A little bit more steel to work with, though. Man, they do not want to... Maybe we should just bury these corpses. I don't know. They're raiders, though. They are in my way. We just set up a graveyard somewhere random. Can uranium be a power source in RimWorld? Not in vanilla. No. It's just, you, there's, uranium is basically, and it's just a really hard metal. You can turn it into weapons and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not aware of any other use for it. Can you finish building, the, like, like, just do all of them? How do you fail digging a grave? There you go. Yeah, get rid of those corpses. I don't know. They don't want to use this. Uh, for some reason, they just don't. I'm going to delete it. They don't want to use the corpse hole anymore. Maybe I should make a new corpse hole. Oh, don't bother cleaning up the old blood. Nobody cares. It'd be nice. There, there are mods to have um, mass graves. You know what I think when someone fails digging a grave? Is they, they 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 dug like a like a like a two foot square, just really deep, so the person had to stand up instead of lay down. Eclipse, not a big deal. We have multiple sources. We have a lot of power, and we have multiple sources of power. Actually, let's. Why don't we go ahead and build another one of these just to keep uh, keep the diversity, the power diversity going. We're getting the steel done. Just not, not for any particular reason. Well, just just to have it around. But we are going to be building a bulk quantity of uh, shooter doodles. Turrets, pretty soon. Turrets. And oh, I'm about to say, hey, a normal pair of... Oh, no, it's not. It's not good. We do have enough slate blocks to start building a defensive area. So that's good. I'm just... I don't know where I want it. That's the thing is, it has it, it has to encompass this area. So it's going to have to come like here. And go up here. It's got to encompass this area as well. So what I'm thinking is we have right... We, we need What we need is a long corridor. Just, a you know, to funnel people into to put all the the doom in put all the doom in one area and i'm thinking we can use this section right here as as my doom area the problem with trying to use you know it's if you have a section of water it's nice to use because it's slow to walk across straight line of defense probably probably do a straight line that's what i usually do white phosphorus mines would be a cool trap if you're a sadist which I am. I'll just have him get rid of this. I'll leave that last bit up for now so it doesn't blow up. Doesn't doesn't collapse on me. Uh, so structures that would be slate blocks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start blocking this off. And what we want is this nice long area. 25 wide. That's pretty good. So that's 25 long. And we leave a, ga a, a gap right there. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 wide. We'll do 15 wide. Go all the way down. And then we do this. Like that. So then, these guys, they have to funnel through here, put the defenses right here, 
and they have to funnel through to get over. But I'm still here. Huzzah, Super Bloop! Is this game similar to Surviving Mars? Not at all. What, starvation? Oh, shit. We ran out of... Okay, that's my fault. Bills, kibble, that's my fault. There we go. Sorry, I just killed the baby alpaca. Oh well. Oh, I'm sad. Man, look at those. Yeah, it's fucking windy now. It's almost time for the pets to eat too. I'm surprised they're not screaming at me at the moment. Oh, we got some. We got a bunch of corn done too. Wow. Yeah, we got we got plenty of food in here. Plenty of food. So let's kibble it up. I oh mean, these guys are starving. You wanna? Yeah. There you go. There's a pack of food. Kibble. Uh, what I what you gotta always do too is um. Uh, animals can eat things like human and insect without it being an issue for them. Uh, so if you have a lo if you don't want to waste all the delicious human meat and you don't want to feed it to your people because you know they'll get all pissy about it for some reason, and you have a cannibal, what you can do is you can have your cannibal butcher all the humans, then bake it into kibble. He won't take a mood debuff because he has no qualms about butchering another human, and the animals won't take a mood debuff either. Failed at building a wall. Good job. And then over here, let's see, even that out. Structure we would need sandbags right there. And then in front of the sandbags, so we would do like, ha <laughs> ha, yes. Uh, what else do we need? Ooh, geothermal power. Oh, that requires a high-tech bench. Ooh, um... You just burn the humans, not eat them. Well, I mean, if you... I'm saying, if you got a lot of dead humans laying around and you don't want to waste all that meat, I mean, it's good meat. Do you leave enough uh, room for geothermal later? Yes, I did. Let's, let's get the mortars going. Um, that's plenty. Of, I think it's two out from the side, so it should go up to about there. It's one, no, it's one out, I think. Yeah, that'll fit in there. And over here, there's plenty of room. Alrighty. So, now what we'll do is we'll go improvise turret. Oh, it's way over here. Um, well, that's not a big deal. Should we just take it on now before it gets out of hand? Are flanking towers worth it or is it better to just put in a lot of turrets? What I do is, here, I'll show, before we deal with that, I'll, I'll do this. What I do is this. Um, uh, I do, let's do one and then skip two and then a turret and then skip two and then a turret. Turret, skip two and then... I would have, I, normally I wouldn't put them right next to each other like that. Or what you can do, um, because the explosions can hurt, can, can hit hit the other turrets. This is why you generally want to space them out a little bit. Or you could do you, you could do every other one and put a wall in between them. Uh, so that that actually might not be a bad idea. So let's try, let's. I normally don't use that methodology, but we could try that this time. So that would be like this. Oh, that'll still leave two next to each other, but we'll do that for symmetry. Structure, slate walls, and then what you do is you put one section of walls between them. That way, if there's an explosion, the explosion doesn't detonate the other turrets. Yeah, add a quote there. Yeah, if someone wants to add a quote to the quote bank, you type in, 
exclamation point, add, space, quote, and then you put in the quote you want, and it adds it to the quote bank, and then you can recall them later. And then what I do is, um, hang on, we're gonna, because we got, we got a couple things we got to take care of right now. Power, you want power lines back here, so what I do is I go two back, power line, and then this power line, I don't want it to be, uh, exposed for long, long sections, so it's gonna go into the, into the wall, run along the wall, and then it needs a power switch. Uh, let's put in the power switch down here because just in case that's easier to get to from the base and real quick before we deal with that guys I gotta go feed the pets so again I'm just gonna take a really really quick break um, you know 30 seconds to a minute and I'll be right back while I go feed the animals alrighty Remember what happened to Paddington? I do remember what happened to Paddington. He got shot in the brain. And then survived for a while after that. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Animals. Um, right, 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 right. We got an issue down here. So, uh, everybody, we need to deal with this ASAP, not you. You guys need to form up down here. And the, oh, we, uh, Ripley. Yeah, Ripley, you're gonna, you're gonna be part of this. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. It should be only be like two or three of these guys. Um, so... Pistol... You, Guyvin, and then you out... Uh, nope. Out front, like this, like that. Ripley... I'm a little nervous about having you out front. Um, animals, let's, let's... Yeah, undo that. And then, Maine, you're going to come out here, and you're going to lure them out. Nice, nice miss. Oh, come on. I think he hit the nest. Shit! Wow, that thing's fast. Okay, 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 it's injured. Nice, already it's already down. Yeah, there we go. Stab it, stab it. It's a bug. Stomp it down. Uh, that's it. Melee attack the hive. I just canceled that. Okay, F. All right, that's some more kibble, because they can turn that into kibble. Not bad, really. Not bad. All right, there we go. Take down the hive. Done. First infestation, done. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Not a big deal at all. Everybody get healed up? Nope. Uh, racks, this is literally your only job. All right, treatment quality was decent. Didn't take any major injuries. Uh, we do have to get this wall built because this is something I'm interested in completing. And some extra batteries down, uh, an extra battery bank down here would be something I'd like to do as well. D you know, a backup, a backup power section just for your defenses is really good, really good planning. And then what also you want to do is make sure that you got to keep this place, you know, all the all the approaches deforested. It all make sure it's all gone. What might be a good idea is uh, straightening this out and moving it over. Might do that too. I'd put some shelves in so the meds aren't sitting on the floor. Do, can can you put medicine on shelves? I thought you could only put weapons and armor on there. I could have sworn you could only do weapons and armor, but I'm really not sure. And right now, my head constructor is not set to is set to mine. And then research. That's why. Okay. 
hair, not a big concern. All right, so let's uh, let's just go to research and cancel. Uh, can't cancel it. Okay. Uh, so work research three. There we go. I think you can put anything on. Oh, that's the that's the bunny. Oh, well, let's try a shelving unit. See what happens. So let's go furniture, shelf, and just put a shelf down here. Or like, right there maybe. Let's just try it. All right, there we go. Now they're working. What's the red square in priorities? That's that's a new thing. I'm pretty sure that's something the person is not it has like no skill in. Just terrible at. Take the trees down. How much steel do I have? I do not Well, I got a little bit of steel. I got a little bit of steel. What a pretty tech tree. Yeah, the research tree is much bigger now. Much bigger now. Pretty cool looking. So let's see. Um, oh, I never, I never did this. Psychic soothe. That's nice. New sound effects too. That little ding. It's nice. Can't wait for mods to get upgraded. Yeah. Build a weapon shelf in the dungeon to give the escapees a sporting chance. No. Not doing that. We're not doing we're not doing silly things for the sake of being silly in this run. We're just test we're, we're playing it to test out Alpha 18, which I am loving by the way. Also, I'm doing so good on components. I've got components coming out my ears. Still technically toxic fallout, but everybody's only on like initial, so it's not that big of a in, uh, of a deal. Most people spend most of the days inside or did it did it clear up? No, yeah, it just cleared up while I, while I was talking about it. It cleared up. Uh, but I think I'll leave the roof up for now. Will you do a Let's Play for YouTube when the stable version drops? I'll probably just keep playing this one. Unless this colony face plants. But yeah, I really love me some RimWorld. So there'll be more of it on YouTube, yeah. You know what would be really cool is this is so close. What I could probably do is attach this to the, the, the defenses with a battery, you know, like with a, like a battery pack. And then disconnect it from the rest. And it'll just... Whoa! Orbital power beam targeter. An ancient targeting unit for a network of power collection satellites. Once aimed at a target, it directs ancient satellites to begin beaming power down in a massive column of electromagnetic energy. This power can be... Uh, it can safely be collected in a giant absorption dish since you have no absorption dish aiming it at enemies at which point the power column will turn the area into a thousand degree inferno this will last until the satellites detect the uh, un de detect the unsafe targeting shut themselves down or permanently deactivate the targeter wow that's cool but we're not doing that right now I don't have any money I have no money and no traders so we're just gonna postpone that yeah I have no I have no economy right now I can sell food, that's about it. Food and corpses. Wow, we filled up that graveyard really fast. Also having a one a one thickness wall, I don't like. I prefer my walls to be two thicknesses. A thousand degrees? Probably Fahrenheit. It doesn't specify. So I'm not certain. I mean, it could be Celsius. It really could be Celsius. I've seen temperatures get up to like the 3,500 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is more than a thousand Celsius. Mm. Exotic goods trader. Hello. I like the sound of that. Yeah, I think I'll just keep the uh, the roof over this area right now. It's fine. Yeah, a thousand, a thousand degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, it's really not going to matter. You're going to be dead. 
one way or the other, you dead. All right, what do we got? Well, I only have $241, so I can't afford anything. Components, I'm never going to sell. I could sell meals, but I don't really see... I, I don't want to. I do have a lot of food, though. I could I could make a thousand ducats selling food. I'm not going to sell any of my alpacas. It's a thousand ducats. And I mean, look, we are, we have all these fine meals. They can replace the simple ones with all of that rice and corn. I'm just gonna dismiss that. I mean, replace you know, replacing all those meals really not that big of an issue. It'll also give Cyrus a chance to get get his cooking skills up. Also, build copy that. Make some sculptures. I do have people set to sculpture right now, but a lot of people have other more important tasks like getting this shit done. An artist colony. I've done artist colony before. It worked out okay. I mean, some of the sculptures can be worth a lot of money if you have people that are willing to buy them and have the money to pay for them. I, I'd really like, like, two more colonists. And we still have plenty of slate. I also start, I can only start laying some slate blocks down in here. Hang on. Floors, slate tile. And I'll just start f filling out the, uh, the ugly areas. Oh, that's marble. No, that's slate. I only have one constructor, so like, well, one good one, so... Venicate is basically doing... Oh, not... What? There's mechs. Mechs are coming. Um... I don't have any weapons outside of the starter weapons. I have the revolver I came with. I have the rifle I came with, and a bow and some knives. That's all I got. Fuck! And they're coming from this direction. Um, and only five, five of my six people can fight. The rest of them can't. They're coming this way. That gives me a little room to work with. So, yeah, I got people with... I have to I I have to melee max is basically what it comes down to. So uh right there, none of this stuff is up and ready to go. Guyvin right here, they'll fight you'll fire through there. Oh, right over here. Oh shit, god damn it. Ho! Native Americans versus war, war Europeans. Any plans on total war Warhammer? God, no. 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 A thousand times no. Whoa! Oh, shucks. Jesus, that was close. Guyvin can't fire from there. Um. Guyvin, come up this way. I'm really worried about main because main can only take one hit before she goes down. I mean, these things fucking hurt, but she could like really only take one hit before going down. Yeah, fire a bow at them. Rax, what are you doing? You're just gonna pick up the. Oh yeah, you don't need this cover, right? Oh, he's building the wall there. No, Rax, don't do that. Um. Oh, jeez. Uh, Rax, can you just go hang out at home? You're not... Guyvin, move. All right, we've got three hits on this guy. The left leg and the left foot. And real quick, um, I don't plan on playing Warhammer because I feel like this is, that is the greatest DLC whoring of all time. Guyvin just got, took a hit. Charge lands to the torso. Kitty destroyed. 
I was worried about that. Because those hits fucking hurt. If main goes down, we're done. Lost a kidney on that. And we're not hitting. We are not hitting. Ho. Oh. At least he's not bleeding to death. That's good. Guyvin's just not gonna... He hasn't even gotten close yet. Fuck, move. Why can't I get him to move? Oh, there we go. Okay, see, Main is doing a good job. If Main takes a hit, though, we're done. Uh, Cyrus... Well, what if we do this? Cyrus, run up here. Like, run over there. No, like, up here, and then over. Matus, distract them with your body. Alright, Guyvin, you are not doing nothing with those guys, but the revolver might help. Yeah, there we go, the revolver does something. Left blade shot off, left leg shot off, that's a good start. What is your shooting skill? It's gotta be good. 11, that's pretty decent. Cyrus, what is yours? 11. Oh, come on. As soon as I started looking at you, you started missing. There we go. This thing's almost down. Really looking at Cy... Oh, Cyrus took a hit. Left shoulder. That's not a big deal. No danger of bleeding out. Guyvin, god damn it. I wish you could hit something. Oh, did you just hit with the bow? Finally? No. Yes! One down. And main, you can't hit you can't fire from there, can you? Nope. Uh so we gotta get it closer. We gotta lure it in closer. Alright, so I am nervous. Guyvin, these guys are bleeding, but they're not going to bleed Oh, 22 hours. They're not going to bleed out anytime soon. So what we need to do is lure it in closer by removing all... Shots. Okay, main, now you, you go back up. And then you go back up here. Fuck, it's looking right at us. These guys are just way out in the open. Uh, run. Sure, yeah, yeah, that's what I was worried about. Oh my god! Whoa! Someone shot it right in the thorax and killed it. Wow. Wow, okay, okay, we're alive. We took out, we took out the mechs with only the starting revolver and the starting rifle. Guyvin, what happened to you? Uh... You got shot in the leg and the torso, so you, yeah, you got, you got, you're fucked up. Alrighty, so, go back home. Uh, let's see, combat, health, modifications, add bill, shut down. Maybe, I mean, you're, you're really, you're bleeding to death, like, right now.